a gathering to celebrate the life of a man deemed godly. His compassion, love for the human race, and dignified fight against oppression did not go unnoticed. He treated prince and pauper alike, um, and he had an uncanny ability to engage you in a way that made you feel you were the only person in, in the universe to him at that time. And so he, he gave people dignity. Bishop Tutu loved people. It didn't matter who you were. It didn't matter what your creed was. It didn't matter what your religion was. He had a passion for people because he saw in people God's creation. The late Archbishop lives behind a great legacy. He was this wonderful combination of absolutely gentle and absolutely brave and, and tireless when it came to standing up for what he, had to, what he believed in. And I draw a lot of strength from that. Justice, um, humanity, um, peace, and uh, forgiveness. Um, I think if 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 we may um, follow the example of um, Christ, his honesty and forgiving nature were foremost in the minds of the attendees. The arch was an honest man. He spoke the truth without fear or favor for anyone or anything, and hence he was loved. Desmond Pilotutu was hailed as a spiritual giant, a prophet, a priest, and a social activist. Andangonji, SABC News, Abekha.